Hello everyone and welcome to another tester work video. Today I'm going to talk to you about a tool, a piece of software that will ease your workflow when you are having to deal with large video files. We've all been there, we want to upload a video recording to the bug tracker for the evidence for our bug report, but the file is too large. It's a complex issue and uh, I needed to take a lot of steps and record a bunch of stuff in the app for the issue to be clear and understandable. And thus I have a really huge uh, video file on my computer that I cannot upload to the tracker. So I'm going to show you a tool, as I said, a piece of software that will compress that video without losing its quality. So first thing would be to access this link right here it's handbrake.fr and just download handbrake uh, this is uh, for windows 7 8.1 and windows 10. if you want to find out how to compress videos on other operating systems than windows please let us know in the comments or send us a message and we'll be happy to show you how to do that. But as far as we could tell for now, Windows is the most widespread operating system and thus we are going to be focusing exclusively on Windows today. Once you've downloaded Handbrake from their website, you are going to find this file over here, the installation file. Now let's double click on it. This is what you will be seeing uh, in the first step of your setup. All right, and let's just choose a destination folder, install, and that's it. Handbrake is now installed. I also have a video file right here that I will be converting through Handbrake and it will be compressed. So at the end of the video, we'll see a difference between the untouched video and then the compressed video. When you'll be opening the Handbrake app, you're going to be presented with a source selection screen. Now you can either use this menu to select a folder or a file from your computer or you could just drag and drop a file over here. Let's just do that. I'm going to drag and drop my video in this window over here. Now it, it has loaded my video as a source in Handbrake. What's really useful to know here is that you have a preset tab and also a preview function. We are going to talk about those in a minute. So our goal with this software is to compress our videos and eventually to have a smaller compatible version of our video for the bug tracker. Having that in mind, you have loads of options over here in these tabs to either resize your video, do some cropping, apply filters and so on. What would be interesting to note in these tabs is that you have an audio tab which allows you to remove the audio from your video file. So if your video file has audio but it's not relevant to the bug that you are reporting, I really, really suggest that you remove this audio track. So how am I going to do that? I'll just click clear and then my exported video will not have any audio attached to it. Do this in any scenario where you don't need the audio to emphasize your issue. Um, if you have an issue related to a song or a podcast not playing, then obviously you will need that audio track. But for situations where it's not relevant to the issue, please do remove it. Let's go back to the summary. And let's check our presets here. The presets will determine the quality of the video after it has been encoded by Handbrake. So in my case, from this uh, 1080p video, I'll just turn it into a very fast 480p 30 frames per second video because I want the dimension of the file, of the actual file, to be smaller. So that's how I will compress it. 
once I've selected my preset, I'll just go ahead and select the destination for the video I am about to encode. I'll click Browse, go to my desktop, and let's name it Compressed Video. Right, so this is the destination path. After I've checked all the information is correct, I'll just go ahead and click Start Encode. Let's skip to the end of the encoding process. As you can see, once the encoding has finished, you will receive a message saying the queue is finished, meaning that your new video should be on this destination path. And what do you know? I have a new video right here called compressed underscore video. Let's check the different uh, file sizes for these two. So for my original video, I have a 45 megabyte file. And for the compressed video, I have a 17.8 megabyte file. So that is around half the size of the initial video. And also one thing that I forgot to mention, which I suggest you do when you convert a video is check the preview. So after you've selected your preset, click preview and you are going to see how your video is going to look like after the export in terms of image quality. Right. I suggest that you play around with the different options and uh, try different presets to see what works for you. But the general ideas are these. You have a source from where you can either drag and drop a file or you can just go to the browsing feature then you have a destination or an export path uh, that you can also select from this browse menu. I really hope it's useful to you to compress these videos and to upload um, relevant and uh, small video files for your bug attachments. That being said, I look forward to you contacting us about any questions that you may have or suggestions for different software to use or different methods of working. And as always, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.